So guys, on TikTok, there's always a gender war going on. Men and women never agree on one thing on that app. Now, this chick made a video saying that most men are homosexuals. Watch. You know, I just watched this podcast where the speaker is saying we need to interrogate heterosexuality because the truth is men hate women and they're only with women because they're forced by the social construct of heterosexuality. But if you analyze men's interactions with other men, you come to realize that men do everything that they do just to impress other men and because they literally live for validation from other men, they don't care about women. Men are literally in love with other men. Most men are homosexual. Because why else would men disrespect, not listen to women, not put in effort to form meaningful connections with women the way that they do with other men? It's pretty obvious that women are not the ones that they want. And this TikToker made a video responding to this chick. Watch this. You know, my sister, rhetoric statements like these and many more of the ones that you made in your video are just a reflection and projection of the poor quality friendships that you as women have. You guys have placed the bar so low and you struggle at maintaining genuine friendships with other women. That's why when you see a man show another man the bare minimum loyalty and respect, you identify it as love or romantic feelings. And it's purely because women base their friendships on two things. You base them on what you guys have in common and you base them on relevancy. You want to befriend the girl that is popular at school or on Instagram that has the highest following. You want to befriend a girl based on the, how nice she dresses because she dresses as nice as you do. Whereas men base their friendships on who we are and our skill set. We base our friendships on our differences so that our skills can compensate for each other where we lack as individuals. But you guys, you base your friendships on petty shit on materialistic shit, on what you guys have in common. That's why your friendships never last, because you base them on superficial stuff. So because it's superficial, it means loyalty can never be part of the equation when you guys become friends. It means respect can never become part of the equation because your respect is based off of does another woman have what you have? Does another woman intimidate you? That's when you respect another woman. But for us as men, I can be a man with money, but choose to be friends with a man that does not have money. Because he may not have money, but he has the skills of a mechanic. He can assist me. So I'm going to respect him whether he's poor or not. I'm going to respect him whether he lives in the hood or not. So because you guys see men become friends over the bare minimum, because you guys witness friends becoming guys becoming friends when they don't have anything in common whatsoever, you identify it as romantic love because that's the only way and situation that a man can be, show respect and loyalty to another man when they benefit from him financially or socially or stuff like that. Because that's what you as females base your friendships on. Because your friendships are so low quality and based off of superficial, materialistic and petty stuff. That's why your bar is so low that when you see men just act the bare minimum, just being normal men, showing respect to another stranger, you identify it as love. You guys always attribute negative connotations to the nature of men. Men don't want to date independent women because they are intimidated by them. How about no, a lot of them tend to be intolerant. Men don't want to date younger women because they want to be manipulative and controlling of them. No, how about men are just attracted to youthfulness and the youthfulness is beauty. Hmm? When you say men are, are, are homophobic, they are gays because they have such good friendships. It's based on your insecurity and projection of the poor friendships that you guys have as women. So the only condition for men to be good friends is if they are gay. That's why you are saying such nonsense, idiots. Now you guys tell me what you think about this.